Hello friends, welcome to my Each One Teach One. Um, I thought for this activity I would teach you guys how to read um, tabs for the guitar. So when I was younger, much younger, like when I was five years old, uh, my mom gave me my first very small guitar. Um, it was a guitar that she had got, I think, at like a department store, and it was a child-sized guitar. Um, and I was trying to figure out uh, how to play it, and she signed me up for lessons, and for whatever reason, um, I didn't love the lessons, but what I found um, that a family friend showed me was that I could use tabs on the internet, so tabs are a certain kind of guitar music, and I could teach myself. Um, so I wanted to share that with you. And what I have on my screen is a website called Ultimate Guitar, and there's a hyphen in here, and this is a website that I've been using forever, for at least probably, gosh, I don't know, 15 years. Um, and it has tabs for, you know, almost every song you could think of. So what what is a tab, you might be asking at this point, and how do I use it to teach myself to play the guitar? So the first thing you will need um, is a guitar, and I wanted to uh, stress that for those of you, I know there are several of you that have a ukulele at home as well, um, there are ukulele tabs on this website as well, and you can use those to teach yourself songs. So the first thing I'm going to show you, just basic kind of guitar 101, um, this is my guitar. Um, it's a Taylor guitar, but I named it John because when I first started playing when I was younger, I was a really big John Mayer fan. Um, he's actually a very talented guitarist. So this is John, my guitar. And what I'm going to show you is just very basic tuning techniques. Um, so when you grab a guitar, if, it, a guitar, if it's out of tune, it's not going to sound very good. So the first thing you want to do is tune it. So the two, um, there are six strings on an acoustic guitar like this, and the top string and the bottom string are both uh, both E's, the note E. So you might hear that they're the same note at, at different octaves. So if you can hear that. So this high E, which is the smallest string, the furthest away um, from you when you're playing the guitar, is the string at the bottom of the, of the guitar. And that's the string you're going to start with. To tune your guitar. So either on a piano, you could press um, the E key on the piano and then match that pitch to your E string. Or you could also look up on YouTube. You can just write, you know, guitar tuning notes on YouTube and it'll come up with all the notes that you need to tune your guitar. So you just want to tune that E first and then on your next string, you're going to go to uh, these different sections of the guitar here are called frets. So this, the one closest, um, the closest to the kind of string end of the guitar, this is the first fret. And then the closer you get to the neck of the guitar, the higher the frets get. And you'll notice there are these little dots, and they give you some benchmarks. So this first dot is the third fret, the next dot is the fifth fret, um, the seventh fret, and so on and so forth. So if you're playing really quickly, you can kind of look down and use those benchmark frets to figure out where you are. All right, but anyways, so you're going to go to your next string on the fifth fret, Okay, and then that sound should match your E string. So if my guitar is tuned, uh, my fifth fret on the next string should sound like the E string. That's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Um, now, this is the only string that's different on my next string. I'm actually going to go to the fourth fret. Oh, sorry. So that should be the same. That sounds pretty close. Not perfect again. And then I'm going to go back to the fifth fret for the rest of my string. So. Pretty close. It's not perfect, and that is definitely the most simple technique um, for tuning a guitar. There are more complicated ones, but <clears throat> that one will get your guitar sounding pretty decent um, every time. So you start with the E string, you make sure your E string is in tune, and then you go further down the strings and make sure all your other strings are in tune. So this is again uh, the website, Ultimate Guitar, um, and it has almost every song. I've never looked for a song on here that wasn't on here. It's basically crowdsourced information, so people that play the guitar um, write these tabs and they post them on the internet um, so that other people can use them. So, for example, if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to play a song that wasn't on here, I could write a tab for that song and then post it, and then other people could see it. So this is really this large community of people who play the guitar um, that share these tabs with one another so that they can all learn different things. So this is kind of like an each one teach one in its own way. All right, so I picked out um, a song for you guys. I'm going to teach you how to play. And it is one of the very first songs that I learned how to play when I was younger. So 
This is a Tom Petty song. Um, it's called Free Fallen. Most of you have probably heard it before. And it says up here at the top of the tab, let me zoom in, it says difficulty novice, which is another word for beginner. And the tabs will always tell you um, how difficult they are. Some of them, of course, are more difficult than others, but you'd be surprised how many are quite simple and still sound really good. Um, so teaching yourself to play the guitar, some people think, oh, well, if I'm only learning beginner songs, it won't sound good. Uh, and that's really not true. Even beginner songs sound quite good. Okay, so tuning, this is standard tuning. So this E, A, D, G, B, E, this is what we just went over. So if you tune your guitar in standard tuning, uh, it's going to be tuned up for this song. There are some songs that ask you to tune your guitar in a different way, uh, but most, I would say like 95% of songs are going to have this standard tuning. Okay, so capo is on the third fret. What's a capo? Um, it's this metal clip, and what it does, it holds down all the strings at once, so it makes the guitar sound, uh, it changes the key, it makes it higher. So I use this um, mostly for singing, because my singing voice uh, tends to be, in, in most songs, a little bit higher uh, than the, the tab is written. So usually the tabs are written for people who have a little bit lower voices than I do, so I tend to move the capo up higher on the neck to make it higher. And it says we're in the key of D. Okay, <clears throat> so we have, there's a strumming pattern here. I don't generally pay much attention to that. Um, just by practicing, you're gonna come up with your own strumming patterns that you think match the song. All right, so then down here, this is the important part of the tab, okay? Uh, so I'm actually going to, in this particular song, I'm gonna put my capo uh, on one fret lower than it is in the tab because the song actually is a little high for me if it's on the third capo. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at these numbers here. And this is the whole essence of a tab is this string of six numbers for every note. So this says G, S, U, S, 2. And what they're saying is to play this, uh, this note, this chord, to play this chord, uh, this three here, the first number represents my lowest string. So I'm going to show you my guitar. So this top string, the lowest string, is the first number in the sequence. So what that's telling me is for my first number in the sequence, I'm going to put my finger on the third fret. Now there's an X for the next one, you might say. What the heck does that mean if there's an X? What that means is you're actually going to dampen the string, or you're not going to play it at all. So what you'll notice on your guitar is if you don't press down hard enough so it sounds clear, it'll sound damp. Like so if I just lay my hand gently over the strings, it's just a dampened sound. So there are some chords in which we don't want to hear all the strings because they don't all sound good together. So this one, for the second, I'm going to put my, um, for that low E, I'm going to put my finger on the third fret, and I'm going to kind of let it dampen that next string so it doesn't sound like much. Now I have an open string when it says zero. That means don't put your finger on the string at all. Just let it ring out. So the next string is going to be an open string. So I have three x zero and then i have two and then three three so that's going to be my first chord in the song so right and i read that just from that sequence of numbers so every number tells me which fret to put my finger on so now my next one is going to be uh, asus4 which just by looking at this and you guys will get more and more familiar with the chords as you practice. Um, it's just a modified A chord. So my top string is going to be dampened on this one. So when I dot dampen my top string, I can lay my thumb over the top of it so that you can't hear it. Okay. And then it's going to be um, almost like a regular A chord, except my, um, my ring finger is going to be on the third fret instead of the second fret. So I have a dampened top chord. Next chord is ringing out. It's a zero. My next, two, um, my next two strings are going to be on the second fret, and my next string's on the third fret, and the last string, that high E, is ringing out. So it should sound like this. All right. So those are the chords that are defined here because they're kind of uh, not standard. They're a little different. So then these are the standard chords that sometimes they kind of expect you to know because they're very common, but they'll still give you the chord if you um, hover your clicker over it. So I'm hovering my clicker over and it's telling me how to play a D chord, which is going to be uh, open in the top three strings. And then in the bottom three strings, I'm going to have my first. So here you'll also notice um, that each of these circles here 
on the strings have numbers on them, and that's telling you which finger goes where. So my pointer finger is finger number one, my middle finger is finger number two, and my ring finger is finger number three. So when it says finger number one and two, that's what it's talking about. So it would say an E chord, or excuse me, a D chord, would be played like this. So it sounds like this. And D is a very common chord, so you'll learn that if you're practicing very quickly. All right, so just to give you an idea, so these chords tell you where to put your fingers and how to play the notes. Uh, once you get good at them, you can start strumming and playing along with the song. So I'm going to play you guys uh, a brief, not the whole thing, but just a little bit of this song. And just to show you, so this whole song, that I think it sounds really good, uh, it's only those three chords. So it's the D chord, the G chord, and the A chord that we practiced. And those are the only three chords in this whole song. You can play the whole thing. All right. <clears throat> We're going to start. Good girl, she loves her mama. She loves her Jesus and America, too. She's a good girl, yeah, she crazy about Elvis, she loves horses, and a boyfriend too, yeah, yeah. It's a long day, when you're living in Reseda, there's a freeway, running through the yard, and I'm a bad boy. Sometimes you have to scroll down a little bit. <laughs> and now I'm free. I'm free falling, falling. Now I'm free. I'm free falling, falling. Yeah. Just to show you, only three chords uh, play that whole song. So this is something that I think if you guys practiced, you could learn quite easily. And then these same three chords play a ton of other songs you could learn too. So if you have the interest, I would encourage you to pick up the guitar because you can, you can teach yourself and it's easier than you might think.